Hello, Pisces. I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, commented, and subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of y'all motherfuckers. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. So, cheers to you. We made it to May 15th to the 31st. All right. We're about to see what's going down, Pisces. If you'd like to get a personal read, make sure you hit the description box down below. And also, you can email me at laurelbanks at gmail.com. And you can reach me at my website at laurelsmoon.com for price listings for magic and any other deviation purposes. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and get into this reading. Spirits, you are welcome into this reading. All right. Here we go. So, we're going to be finding out uh, how they view you and what you don't see and some outcomes. Okay. Pisces, your desire is within your reach. So have faith. Everything is working out in your favor. And everything's okay, Pisces. Don't worry. It's working out in a beautiful way. For some of you all, there could be some children involved in some emotional healing. All right? So yes, Pisces. For some of you all, if you have children, there could be... Uh, a concentration on emotional healing towards your childhood, uh, your children, uh, your own children's childhood, shit. But it's saying that everything is okay, all right? And that there's definitely an emotional healing here for some of you all. And it's saying to ask for what you want, let the universe and other people know what you need, Pisces. So, making those wish come true. Look, you got the little flower. Okay. So, bottom of the deck, there could be a career change. And also, for some of you, there could be a pregnancy. So, it says your work focus is shifting in a positive and new successful direction, Pisces. So, you could be getting a new career. You could be changing some things up in your business for your financial status. For some of you all, you could be preparing for a pregnancy. Or you could be preparing for a new rebirth in here, Pisces. Okay. So, let's see what's really going down. 15th to the 31st of May, 2019. Let's see overall the messages from Tarot about you and your partner. Whoever this may apply to. All right, here we go. So, Knight of Spears energy could be that there's an action uh, that someone is scared to take here. Wow, we got cards flying already, baby. All right, Ace of Swords. So, looks to me like you and your partner are starting to think about what actions uh, need to be taken, okay? There could be, uh, on your end, you're needing to think of an action, okay, due to some communication or figuring out what new ideas could be coming your way. Also, emotionally, you have the chariot energy here. So there could be some movement or some uh, someone could be moving or there could be some movement towards uh, some new opportunities or something new here is what I'm saying. You could be uh, feeling like there's a betrayal on the horizon with the Ten of Swords. All right, Pisces. But I am seeing here that your main purpose and your main focus is some communication. It could be that this person needs communication through emotions. All right, you want to feel like things are in control. So I am seeing here, you know, look at this beast that they're trying to tame. It looks like a victory, you know. So it looks like you're trying to obtain a victory without by bypassing a betrayal or a possible someone feeling like a traitor, all right, or someone who you feel like is going to backstab you, all right. So I am feeling like the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Coins. This person is definitely wanting to share something with you. It could be, you know, a financial situation that they're involved with with you. But I am seeing here Ace of Cups and the Ace of Coins. This person is definitely wanting to share some love. Okay, a love offer. Look at those legs in the air, baby. For some of you all, it could be that there is definitely a message here. All right. I do see some spying with this page of swords and also with the page of spears. It could be that there's an action that's getting ready to be taken. Okay. There could be a thought 
or uh, someone could be wanting to set out to make an action or they keep making quick actions here. So this could be you or your partner, but I feel like there could be definitely uh, someone who's thinking about a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, possible Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That they're afraid to leave away from a situation. Okay, there could be a lot of uh, mental anguish with the nine of swords here that you're dealing with because this person has an indecided action or it could be that they're wanting to offer you something, but you're just not quite sure how it's going to balance in the meantime. I am seeing here with the six of uh, spheres energy and the star, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but I am seeing here that this person definitely wants a renewal of some sort, even though you are still feeling like you're in a mental uh, contemplation, all right, with this nine of swords, it could be that, you know, things are keeping you up at night, you could be having anxiety, but I am seeing here that you're definitely, uh, they're wanting a successful, victorious relationship, no matter how things balance out, even though it's hard for them to communicate, because I do see that the source could be that there's communication, all right, and definitely someone who could have children involved, That could be the main factor, all right? Someone is definitely uh, worried about their emotions here with this Queen of Sol with the Queen of uh, Cups and the Six of Swords in reverse. Someone could be worried about contemplating uh, someone being stuck, or being left behind. But in your emotions, it looks to me like you're definitely thinking about, uh, you know, the successes of your own self. Now you could be uh, needing to get some insight is what I'm seeing here for some of you all for the 15th uh, through the 31st I am definitely seeing that your partner is um, wanting to have an equally uh, give and take relationship all right you have um, the king of cups and also the six of pentacles so I'm feeling like there could be a situation you're fighting over someone or someone definitely could be fighting over two different people uh, but you know it could be not necessarily a person it could be that child for some of you all, but they're definitely viewing you as someone who has a lot of strength here, someone who's strong, okay? You have the strength energy, and they view you as someone that they can't turn away from. You have the Eight of Cups energy here, so someone has definitely, they have a hold on the situation. Now, there could be some materialistic things that either one of you is definitely wanting to juggle here, or one of you is wanting to see the brighter side of things. Is how they view you but I am seeing that this person definitely feels like there's a decision that needs to be made here okay or they feel like you've made a complete decision now it could be that this decision is to stay within this relationship or you're strong enough to withhold and maintain two different things with that two of pentacles I'm feeling like you know someone is really balancing a lot here it could be a business with this king of pentacle energy and also with the two of pentacles so I am seeing that there's a lot of money situations being taken care of home foundations as well with this queen of pentacles you could be um because you both here have the queen and the king so I'm feeling like both of you all are really focused on material things you know gathering things together your money situation financial uh things is what I'm seeing here there could be a situation where someone could be wanting to reassure you or you could be reassuring them that they are definitely wanting to hang around in this, okay? For sure. Look at these two people. Like one is holding on to a situation, all right? It's definitely how they view you. They want to hold on to this connection, okay? Now, for some of you all, uh, you could be feeling like there's an extra party or there's, there could be a child who, or someone who has a son um, that you're definitely dealing with. There's like a sun here, but I am seeing that they, that they're trying not to let that get in the way. You have the Ace of Cups energy, and they're also wanting to, you know, stand between in between what it is that they're wanting to believe, uh, believe in, all right? Um, because this person is definitely going through some family turmoil here, all right? Is what you don't see, Pisces. There could be a lot of mental torment here. You have the uh, Ten of um, Sword energy here. There could have been an ending for some of you all. But I am seeing here that someone is definitely uh, aware mentally of what it is they're going to do as far as love. Now, this person is definitely wanting to be genuine towards you or their overall feel is to bring love with this Ace of Cups. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay. Or they definitely view you as a person who has a lot of love, 
but I do see like that there's definitely a situation you guys are wanting to analyze and work with and you're trying to, you know, uh, just mold yourself to your own goodwill, all right? You have the emperor energy here. I am seeing that you guys are definitely trying to avoid some sort of argument or some regrets or someone is trying to avoid an argumentative energy. I see that you guys are definitely worried about your structures of what you built, all right? Because with this uh, 10 of wand energy here, someone is definitely aware that they could be in contemplation of doing things on their own, but they're still, you know, pushing forward. But I see here that you're definitely in minding your own motherfucking business, build, building your empire with this emperor energy. This is your, your vibe. Okay. Some structures, uh, it could be that there's some fathering energy, uh, oozing off of you, but I am seeing here that you're definitely aware that it could cause a lot of argumentative energy with this five of swords could cause a loss or there could be a loss that someone feels that they might have to take. But I am seeing here that there's definitely some renewals coming in with the star energy for you guys. Now with the star energy, I feel like some of you guys could be a star or someone is the star of a shop. But I do see here that there's definitely a situation where you're wanting to renew a have a renewal process with yourself and rebuild yourself, but you're also trying to merge certain things or integrate certain things just to make it work is what I'm seeing here. All right. Now with the judgment energy, I feel like this is definitely a situation that's calling for you to think outside of the box. Okay. Uh, I really feel like it's making you kind of change um, how you move for the month of May is what I'm seeing here. You could be, you know, really trying to just change things up, really seeing how things work out with this judgment energy. All right. So for some of you all, let's see what you don't see with this uh, person. OK, could be a possible third party situation. Someone with children, uh, six of cups energy here it could be uh, someone from the past that could be coming. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Cancer Pisces Scorpio here so far, Pisces, but I am seeing that someone is definitely wanting to return from the past. They could have been returning slowly, or this could have been uh, something that someone was anticipating slowly for some of you all, but there definitely seems to me like someone is wanting to set out, but it's like they are apprehensive. Could be Leo Sagittarius Aries uh, that's scared uh, to possibly go back and forth. Um, and it looks like to me they're trying to renew their emotions, but they're still like going back and forth through the process. Could be traveling as well. All right. Leo Sagittarius, Aries energy here is strong. And Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. So I see what you don't see is that this person knows that there's going to be a shakeup with this tower energy. Okay. There's definitely going to be some sort of destructive energy or a release. All right. Or it could be that there's a revelation. That they might be going through is what I'm seeing here, which you don't see. Uh, there also could be someone who's wanting a victorious situation. You could look at it in two different ways. I feel like someone uh, could have a third party uh, situation that they're, they've been messaging someone. I also feel like for some of you guys, there could be a situation where someone's been shut out and left out in the cold. Could be due to like... Uh, you know, a player like energy with this uh, King of Wands, but not necessarily a player like energy, someone who is definite, they can have multiple actions that they could need to take. Um, but someone is definitely feeling left out in the cold is what I'm seeing here. So there could be a certain shakeup and a foundation uh, with the four of wand energy here that someone is definitely wanting to manifest or something was manifesting. But I do see here that they're definitely wanting... Um, the situation to balance itself out. Like I said, it could be a situation where there, for some of you Pisces, there's a third party situation. Someone is messaging someone else. Someone could have seen some messages that could have caused this tower moment. All right. When someone thought that something was definitely successful here with the six of wands, but I am seeing that, you know, this destruction and this chaos could have shaken up um, some new manifestations with this magician energy here. You could be dealing with an Aries. For some of you all, um, I am seeing that there's definitely water and fire here uh, is what you don't see is that there's definitely a shakeup in the foundation or a shakeup in a marriage for some of you all. But with this Ten of Cups, it's like this oppositional feeling that you don't know if you want to give it a chance or if you want to cut this connection off. All right. And I'm definitely seeing um, that there could be what you don't see is that this person knows that you want to cut it off, but there's still 
for some of you all wanting this soulmate connection, all right? They feel like you're going to be sharp about some shit and it could cause, you know, heartbreak and sorrow, which is definitely here with this three of swords. If you receive some information or some news, uh, you know, due to a third party situation, some piercing news, especially with the sword energy and the queen of swords could be something that's very sharp, that's cut off as well. So this could be you or this could be them. But I am seeing here that for some of you all, it could be a third party situation that someone is definitely wanting to cut off or is, uh, you know, breaking up a home. But it looks to me like someone is definitely wanting to be honest. All right. But there could be uh, a lot of fighting, a lot of disagreements here. Someone could be coming in and out. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What you don't see is that they're definitely making a lot of options for themselves. A lot of threes here with this three of pentacles. Okay. For some of you all, there could be a commitment uh, that's, you know, like I said, there's a lot of children in these cards. Could be an option of the child. All right. You guys could be dealing with some sort of battles with children. All right. You could have seen some messages, like I said as well, um, that caused a definite injustice. But you got this. You about to probably put your chip you know, back on your shoulder and pass that motherfucker up and keep it pushing Pisces is definitely what I'm seeing here. Uh, cause this person is definitely wanting to avoid some sort of argumentative energy or avoid a loss with this five of wands in reverse. And also at the bottom of the deck, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. All right. And I do feel, uh, that there's definitely a lover's connection here that someone wants to restart, you know, that they're going to see some truths too about how this is going to begin and how this is going to end. Uh, you have the Ace of Pentacles. There could definitely be a lot of spying, once again, with this Page of Swords. All right. But I do see here that there could be a lot of offers or a lot of uh, money situations you guys are dealing with. Now, at the bottom of the deck, it could be that this person wants a lot of accomplishments. Okay. I am seeing um, that there's definitely someone who could be involved with money or someone could be involved in their own business where they have their own money or something to that nature, uh, Pisces. But I am going to say that there's definitely someone who's going to be aware of the truth, all right, towards the end of the month. This person definitely wants a soulmate connection, and they have a hard time resisting themselves away from this. You have the Two of Cups and the Lovers, all right? So definite, definite connection, all right? Unionship, partnership, somebody's going to be holding hands at the end of the day, okay? The Lovers energy, you could be dealing with that Gemini, You've been getting that in your readings quite some time because someone is definitely having a lot of options here, all right? Uh, this could be just their energy, that flighty energy is what I'm seeing here. But I do see that you guys are definitely going to be feeling a lot of accomplishments coming your way, not only necessarily with just your partner, but I do see that there's going to be a lot of uh, accomplishments and money, okay? Money, honey, coming your way. <laughs> uh, spying energy, be aware that this person, you know, could be looking on your social media, looking up at your page, uh, Instagram, things like that, all right? Because they're trying to avoid arguments, all right? So I am seeing for possible outcomes, Pisces, there's definitely a decision that's going to be made here with this page of uh, cups. Could be due to some messages. Also with the Two of Swords energy, um, it could be due to a thought or a decision that you were in two minds about or that you felt was at a loss, I am seeing here that there's definitely going to be some sort of reunion of some sort. Uh, like I said, I feel like Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, also Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy for sure. I do feel like for the end, towards the end of the month, there's definitely going to be a commitment on the horizon towards uh, the end of the month, it, but it could turn into you wanting an ending or someone just feeling very tired and overburdened. Okay, you have the ten of the ten of wands energy, but I do see here you guys are definitely going to be in the amount of abundance. It could be that you're pushing forward, or someone wants a lot of movement towards um, a commitment, possibly, or some new structure. Is what I'm seeing here. You're definitely having things in control with this chariot energy here. So I'm seeing here Pisces is looking damn good. Try not to overthink certain things too. All right, try to keep things um, a mystery. All right. There could be a mystery within you, baby. You got the moon card energy and the ace of cups and the star energy. So I'm feeling like you guys definitely have a lot of love surrounded by you. And there's definitely going to be a lot of renewals coming your way. Now with this uh, moon energy, it could be a lot of mysterious um, situations. Let me get a clarifier for that. Where is this moon energy here? 
Okay, yeah, it could be their emotions, could be your emotions. All right, but I'm definitely seeing here Pisces. It's looking damn successful. You have the star energy. You could be dealing with that at Aquarius again. But I am seeing it's a lot of major, major success here. All right, a lot of success. Um, I am seeing with you and your partner, uh, you're trying to avoid disruption or you're trying to just, you know, keep it pushing. But there could be a situation where someone's trying to avoid, um, you know, moving away from something that, um, no longer suits them, but it upsets the other person is what I'm seeing here. But you have the nine of cups energy and the ten of cups. Someone is definitely going through an epiphany moment and there it's going to be complete happiness by the end of the month. Okay. It goes from a 10. It goes from a nine to a 10. You go through that epiphany. Someone has to leave away. You feel like there could be some lines and, uh, disagreements or someone who's being deceptive towards you. But I see towards the end of the month, you're definitely want to be taking those steps from completion to all the way 10, all right? Happily ever after in this motherfucker. And you're going to try to put these betrayals behind you, all right? A lot of endings and completions. You're going to be definitely have a, not, a lot of opportunity coming your way with this uh, full card too, all right? Um, there's definitely going to be someone who might want to present you with something new, all right? You could be feeling like you're hanging on the edge, with certain information or someone's not really telling you information here but i do see here it's going to be a lot of information coming towards you all right so uh for some of you guys you're going to be diligently working all right pisces towards these main goals that you have a lot of characteristics already built for all right no matter if this person you know feels shut out or feels like things could be at a loss you are built for this fucking shit okay so for some of you guys, definitely be aware that there's going to be an opportunity coming towards you towards the end of the month with the um, full energy here. It could be through message with the page of wands, but I'm also seeing here that it could be through, you know, money situations coming to a completion, integrating, uh, you know, certain situations together and rebuilding and rebuilding yourself here. And I'm definitely seeing it's going to come to completion. You have the world energy. All right. I mean, straight up cycles ending, karmatic cycles coming to closures. All right. All right, Pisces. I love it. You got money, 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 money. You got the world energy coming to completion. Six of Wands energy here. Ace of Pentacles. My loves, what? How good could it get? Okay. So for some of you all, definitely take time to breathe in, breathe out what this motherfucker saying next to you. All right. And what they got going on in their lives. And, you know, let that shit roll off, all right? Don't don't let that shit bother you because, you know, the next person is not going to, they're not going to complete your happiness. And that's what I'm seeing here is that, you know, you could be upset because someone is definitely not um, trained or wanting that or has that proper uh, etiquette, but they are willing to start families with you and be able to hold a connection down with you is what I'm seeing here. Uh, some of you all could be dealing with long-term situations. But I am seeing that there's definitely um, children that are involved that are the main focus. And for some of you all, it could be that you're, you are starting over or you are starting your businesses um, and you're able to really focus on these new opportunities that come your way. OK, so definitely make the effort and there could be a retreat that's coming on the horizon. All right. You could be disconnecting from your partner as well. So. You might need to, uh, you know, express yourself is what these romance angels are saying. And to forgive and learn, release, uh, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. Yes, darling. Okay, Pisces. And I am seeing here the finances and career is your main motherfucking thing. All right. Getting those finances together, those old habits that you, you know, are trying to uh, take the next level up to is coming, all right? And there definitely could be a reconciliation coming as well, Pisces. So, all right, my loves, if you'd like to get a personal read, make sure you hit the description box down below and check out my website, thereltsmoon.com. Peace, babies. See you in the next video.